Hello guys and welcome back to another video and today we're going to be continuing our Minecraft series. Now what did we do last time? Well we created our world generation and if you want to see that you can go into the last tutorial because it kind of takes a long time to load so I won't show you. And also it makes my recording software a bit laggy. So if you want to see that and if you want to know how to do that go to the last tutorial and watch that. We also did our spawning and also our lighting. Now let's go ahead and get into the tutorial. Now, what are we going to be doing today? Well, today is going to be a bit different. We're going to be creating a tree. We're going to be creating two new types of blocks, a log and a new type of leaf. It'll be a maple tree, right? So let's go ahead and start doing this real quick. So go ahead and create a new C Sharp script and call it standard. Actually, we'll call it maple tree decorator. Cool. Go ahead and open that up in Visual Studio. Reload. And here's the script. Now, what we're going to do, we're going to take our standard tree, we're going to copy the entire thing, and paste it in our maple tree decorator over here. Paste that, and we just have to change the name to maple tree. Maple tree decorator. Whoop. Copy that and paste it right here, and we are done. Now that's our tree. We've created a new type of tree that won't spawn in just yet. If you play it, it won't spawn in, and it'll look the same even if it did. So we're going to go ahead and change some stuff up. Now, you, if you did see my video on explaining all the scripts on how the terrain works, and how the tree decorator is, and stuff like that works, then you'll know how this works. But if you didn't, I'll quickly explain it. So you have our world data, which is like world data, obviously. Then you have the maple tree decorator sets the world data. Basically, we're decorating it. We're checking for a valid place to play, put the tree. And then we're going to, if it's a valid place, then we're going to create a decoration. Now, how do we check if it's a valid place? Over here, we're going to see how many trees there are. So we don't want to make too many trees. And we also don't want the trees to be too high. So we want to make sure that they're... It's a bit smaller, and then also, we want a minimum amount of space to grow. Then, if that is valid, then we're going to go ahead and create a decoration at that coordinate. Now, we're going to create the decoration here, and then we have the trunk length. length. We have the trunk. So, we're going to create the trunk, and then we create the spear, which I'll explain in a minute. So, over here, we create the trunk. Just set the block type to the log. And I showed you guys block type in the last tutorial. And then over here, you have, sp if the space above is empty, then you can place it and all that stuff. Now, this is a, not a standard tree. It's a maple tree. So let's go ahead and set that. And then for the sphere, we're going to change that in a minute. Now, right now, this, again, is just a normal tree. There's nothing different about it. So how are we going to change that? Well, for starters, in blocks, we need to create a new block. We're going to call this maple underscore log, and the ID of this will be, well, 7. Then we have maple leaves, so maple underscore leaves, and that's equal to 8. That's the ID of 8, and you don't need to put a comma after that because those are the two blocks that we're going to be creating. Now, after that, in world data, you need to go ahead and set the UB block coordinates. So let's go ahead and take two coordinates, and one will be the maple log, and one the maple leaves. Now we also need to set the texture, and the texture is this right here. Now currently we do not have a texture for this, so if we go into our world prefab, we need to set it to 10, the amount to 10, and the last two here will be our textures. So we need to go ahead and change our log texture and create a new leaf texture. And we're going to do that by opening up our log texture and our leaf textures in GIMP. Alright, this is our log texture. Let's make it a bit bigger. Zoom it in a bit. Uh, probably around 800. Maybe a bit more if you need it. 1100 works really well. 1500. 
Uh, set it to 2000. Okay, so this is our texture. We're going to go ahead and get our pencil tool out, and we're going to go ahead and make this a bit different. Now, what does a maple log really look like? Well, you can look that up. And let's see what it looks like. So it has that normal brown texture with a bit of red on it from, like, I guess, <clears throat> maple. Or it's kind of grayer, grayer with a bit of red on it. Sometimes brown with white. Let's see what we see the most brown with white. Brown and white. So we'll do a brown, white, and red mix. It's the eyedropper to get the color of the light brown. Make it just a bit whiter. There we go. And start drawing that out. One pixel is all we need here. And we'll draw that out. Something a little bit red in there. Let's make a more of a redder color. Or maybe a reddish brownish color. Something like that. And we can go ahead and put that in. Just very a li very little bit of it in some places. Ooh, maybe a bit more red. A bit more of it in different places. There we go. There's our maple log. All right, there we go. Cool. That's our maple log. Let's go ahead and export that as maple log. What? Something that's happening right now is the texture on our logs. We don't have a top texture. It's just all one texture. So to change that, we're going to go ahead and get log top, the top of the oak. And we're also going to world prefab, set it to 11, and we're going to use that. Log oak top, and then our maple log, and then all we need next is our maple leaves. So let's go ahead and open that up and get to cool. So this is our leaves here, it's set again to 2100, something like that. It's pretty nice. This is leaf texture, it's okay. Now, uh, ma maple leaves, what do they look like? Maple leaves, they're very red, in very, very, very red. So Let's go ahead and open our toolbox, there we go, and get a nice red color. About there. Maple leaf, we're gonna go off of this one right here. It's a bit orange too, so I think we'll make, change it just to be a bit brighter and a bit more orange. There we go. Now, we're going to set our size to about uh, 70 and our opacity to be a bit less. That way we can color them a bit. There we go. I like that. That looks pretty nice. Looks pretty good. So let's go ahead and export that. File export as maple leaves. Underscore leaves. There we go. Cool. Export and go into Unity, and we have that set. Maple leaves, right there. Cool. Now, really quickly, if we go back into Visual Studio, we need to set our log. The top of the log needs to be set to eight, and then also for our maple log, we could set this to nine, and then ten for our maple leaves, and we can save that, and that is our block created. Now, next up, we can go into our tree decorator, our maple tree decorator, and set those blocks. So, in block leaves, instead, we do block.maple leaves. And then, instead, over here, of block type log, which would be right up here somewhere in the log, the log would be right here. So, here's the log. Instead, it would be maple log. Right. And that is that. And also, for our maple logs, we want them to have a, under world data, a top of 8. Because, uh, on the, whoop, that's the wrong one. Maple log 8. Cool. So that, they have a top of that. So, cool. So, I think the bottom is also important. So, if we want, we can also set the bottom to 8, but we don't really have to do that. 
There we go. Cool. Go into Unity, and right now it's not going to play. It's, it, or it will play, but you're not going to find your tree. And why is that? Well, that's because we haven't set the tree to spawn in yet. Okay, to make our tree, our maple tree spawn, what do we need to do? Well, in our world game object script, go ahead and open that up. And on the 36th line, you will find in world decorations equals new list, I decoration, blah, 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 all this stuff, right? Well, in here, this is where we add our decoration. So, new standard bush decorator, we can copy that. And we can just say maple tree decorator, and... We're done. That's that. We can go ahead and play. But I do want to do a couple other things to our maple tree. So if we go over to our maple tree, let's find it real quick. I want to make it a bit bigger. So the radius of the sphere, I want it to be, I say, double. Six and eight, and that means we need to double the space for it to grow. Minimum amount of space for it to grow would be 16, 4, and 4. And then our trunk can be a random range from, I say, about 10 to 5, 16. Let's do that. And then we can save this, and we'll see if that grows. Go into Unity, press play, and we'll see what happens. And right before you play, you need to do one thing. Under our textures, we need to make sure we set it to be able to read. Because other, if that doesn't happen, then, well, it'll do that blue and black thing just as last time. And it's really nasty. Alright, now you can play. Okay, so we've spawned in, and unfortunately, well, you can see I'm in between two worlds, if you can say that. So, I spawned way too high above, so we can move my character over. We'll fix that some other time. But for now, let's just press escape and look for a maple tree. Let's move my character up and over, and there's a maple tree right there, guys. Now, this sphere, actually, it's really interesting. You could actually create multiple spheres, like one smaller, one bigger and stuff. Um, so let's go ahead and try that. Go ahead and open up Visual Studio. So let's do a couple more things to the tree and see what happens. All right, so we want to create a smaller sphere beside that sphere, right? So how do we do that? Well, we can do this two things. We can copy this... Uh, uh, variable here, paste it in, and create, and name it, create second spear. Second spear. And there we go. So that's that. And that's pretty simple right there. Now, when we go up here, though, create spear at, create spear second spear, second spear at, and this time, we could do block Z, block X, minus, well, let's do this. Minus 3. Minus 3. And plus trunk length. So that's pretty good. I, I agree with that one. And then the random range from 6 to 8. Well, we'll do just 3 to 4. Make it just a bit smaller. Now, that's that. So it's like a second sphere of, can of, of leaves, right? And that's beside that sphere. So now if we go into Unity, we can play it one more time, and we can see what happens, what effect it makes. All right, so it's finished, and unfortunately, as you guys probably can see, it's very laggy right now. Um, it's actually not laggy for me. It's really, really smooth. But for you guys, because the recording software that I use isn't the best, uh, it's a bit laggy, I bet. Now, if it isn't, good, but if it is, that's unfortunate. Now this tree, does this one have a second little canopy thingy? Well, no, that one doesn't, but I did see a few that did. So if I go into the scene view, just zoom around here, and we can find one that has a second little ball to it. Ah, this one here. 
It's in a perfect sphere. As you can see, we moved it out just a bit. And if we moved it out a little bit more, it would be more, we'd be able to see it just a bit better. So if we go back into Visual Studio, we can say minus, well, 7. Minus 7 and minus 7. And then if you play that, it's probably going to turn out just a bit better. Okay, so it's finished playing here. And it says this. Every tree has this floating ball coming out of it. Well, that's because we did it too much. We exaggerated it just a bit. So obviously you can change this. Let's fly around in the scene view because it does get a bit laggy. There we go. Bunch of balls beside it, which is awesome. We can do this in here and change it to like 4 or 3.5 or anything like that. I'd say 4 works just the best. So save that and you can just go ahead and play that. Alright, so you've spawned again in the middle of the void, which <laughs> will change later. I apologize about that one. Um, that's something that's not in my control until later. It's just spawning in the chunks. You're just going to have to wait until until it's done spawning in if you want to, uh, if you really want to drop in on the right place. Now we come in here and we press escape, that's right. And you can see it looks much better. It kind of looks like there's a square onto them. But if we look into the scene view here, we can see that there's not, it's just... A nice extruding ball on the side, which is really cool, and it makes it look more organic. Some of them have them, some of them don't, which is really awesome. So that is our maple tree in Minecraft, guys, or in the version we're recreating. That's how you add blocks, that's how you do all that stuff. So that's it for this tutorial. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.